oh boy here we go again all right guys so today i'm bringing you my first international video it's only going to be a short video but it's a pretty cool one at the moment i am in the middle of montana look at this just in the middle of montana right out in the middle of absolutely nowhere and the reason why i'm here is because of this place i am at it's an early warning system for uh during the cold war they ma they made a bunch of these bunkers and they were spying on the on the russians to see if they were launching anything towards um america and there were a bunch of these built all along all along the um top of america so it's not it's not very big so it's only going to probably be a little five minute video or something like that i haven't actually been down there there's a couple of people down there already having a look around so yeah but look at this look at this landscape got some wind turbines over there and just over there i'll, I'll put some i'll put some photos on instagram it's a um it's just a uh, a hatch but you can't get it opened so and we have no idea where it goes so but yeah we're going to go down in here in a second i'm probably going to turn the camera off because it's quite steep and i'll need to watch my footing and i'll probably need both hands so yeah i'll be right back once i get to the bottom be right back all right here we are down at the bottom um it's actually quite a bit smaller than i thought it was going to be but it's still really cool the guy who, who brought us out here just gave me a bit of information um i said that they were all across the U top of usa apparently these ones specifically are all just along montana the top of montana so but there's apparently there's like 30 or 40 of them and as you can see over here and apparently they're called the large aperture seismic array so if you want to look that up that's what it, that's what this system was called large aperture seismic array i think that's right <laughs> if you put that into google i'm sure it'll come up anyway all the and apparently there'd be one person stationed here and apparently it started in 1961 i think he said so so yeah and like apparently all these cables would go out to all the seismometers they'd have them buried in the ground under um under a 44 gallon drum and apparently a lot of people find them and go what the you know what the what the buggery is that and yeah and they're the old seismometers and as you can see there's probably i don't know 25 cables there so and then that would that would come in here they would process the data and then it would get um, sent back to headquarters. So, so very, very cool. And you gotta, I'm not gonna get too close. There's a little mouse living in there. I don't know if you can see him in there. You should be able to see him. Little mouse living in there. So I'm, I'm trying not to bother him too much. This is his house. So I'm not gonna bother him too much. But as you, as you can see, most of the equipment's still here. There's probably probably a few little bits and pieces gone, but most of the equipment's still here because they wouldn't need a lot. Like obviously the over here, where all the um, that equipment, they wouldn't keep that there. But all the other stuff, all the electronics and everything, is still here. It's really echoing in here, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Look at that light. Look at that old light. That's very cool. And all this old 60s equipment. Very, very cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, all the lighting and stuff. Oh. And it's foam. Probably insulation, perhaps. Yeah, well, they have, like I said, this was only going to be a quick little video. But yeah. Um, I've got, a, I've got a bunch of videos coming. I think I'm just gonna make them into shorts because they're just, everything's called sort of like short videos at the moment. So I'll probably just make them into shorts. And yeah, so that's, that's the view back up. Back up into the Montana land. Actually we might, we'll come back up. 
up and out and I'll, I'll quickly take you over to this other one and so you can have a quick look over here but yeah this is all federal land and the the gentleman that's brought us out here today um, he's one of the land managers so he has access to these sort of things and was nice enough to bring us out to have a look because he's a he's a fan of the channel so that's pretty cool and yeah under there um, yeah it's, it's very flimsy so I can't I can't show you but like I said underneath it it's just like a, a submarine hatch but it's it's welded well maybe not welded but it's so corroded that you can't it, it would never it'd probably never come open again without some serious serious work done sorry about the wind anyway guys all right that's gonna do it for this little video little five minute video so yeah stay tuned for more like they'll probably come up as shorts unless I find something really big to, really big to do while we're here which I might we've got a lot to see so so yeah anyway thank you for watching thank you all the patrons and YouTube members you guys are awesome the wind is howling here so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out of here so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye